Alright man, so we got this new notice last night. Five told me that this notice was up. So I wouldn't have even known about it last night if it wasn't for him. Now there are some things that were on this list that aren't on here anymore. I guess they realized they revealed some stuff too early. And when I tell y'all what they revealed too early, oops, had a burp, man. Excuse me, bro. Excuse me. I'm not cutting that out. It's life, bro. It happens. <laughs> so yeah, a few things they revealed a little bit too early. Uh, they were a little bit late. Um, getting rid of that stuff so they didn't reveal that too early and once i tell y'all what it is like i said y'all are gonna get hyped so let's go ahead and read this streetball all-star hot fix announcement as of yesterday by the streetball all-star team so dear player we've updated version 1.5.9 for android and ios in order to ensure the normal game experience of players please update to the latest version in the store so the content of this update is as follows number one new season resources added new character a shooting guard by the name of black crow he's a mysterious man full of enigma it is said that no one has ever seen him lose so far you can get it through the welcoming event so he hasn't lost a game so far but these randoms will certainly fix that for him so new skin you get a new skin for black crow the royal aristocrat the royal aristocrat <laughs> you can get it through the character page and you also get a new rika skin it's an epic and it's called rock and roll you can also get that through the limited time event there's new skins for vanessa share randy jackie and alto by the name of the clown army this is obviously a theme based set so you think about the cyborg set that uh justin martin and a few other characters have this is the same thing so it's going to be a theme set like the christmas sets and stuff like that so we got new clothes, devil's hunter suit, black samurai suit, the daddy suit, sunflower suit, and you and you obtained can get them. <laughs> okay, Raccoon Digi, you can obtain them through the limited time event. So now we're moving on to the balance adjustments. Uh, there was some stuff up here inside the skin section that I seen yesterday that I also don't see up here. I think I saw something like a Darth Vader suit. I'm 100% sure I saw a Darth Vader suit in here somewhere, but we're going to move on to the balance adjustments. So increase interference during dunking confrontation. Thank you, Raccoon Digi, because the nerf that you gave it the first time, it was not enough those dunking based characters were still just dunking on people and people with lower dunk stats were still managing to finish their dunks after uh, drawing in the contact and it didn't make sense if it had a disturbance on it and that character has like 60 or 70 dunk so huge shout out to you raccoon digi you're trying your best to get rid of that dunk meta the top players are still cheesing those dunks back to back to back so we really need this change if they don't put more dunk on and sacrifice more power they're going to be more likely to miss those dunks and if they sacrifice the power they're more likely to get blocked so this is a really good change overall they're doing a really good job of trying to get rid of that meta so now we're moving on to little robbie the mode switching conversion rate reduced from 50 percent to 35 percent so what does this mean for robbie so you know when you did the mode switch with robbie 50 percent of your strength would go towards your speed so now instead of it being 50 percent it would only be 35 percent so this is like a buff and a nerf at the same time now you may be thinking dream how is this both a buff and a nerf well it is certainly a nerf to the uh, speed increase but the thing about the uh, little robbie mode switch is that once you sacrifice all that strength you had a much lower chance of blocking dunks but now the chance of you blocking dunks d doesn't decrease by as much it's like 15 percent um less conversion rate so yeah man uh, pretty good change for Robbie. He's not going to be able to move as fast when he switches modes, but he's also not going to struggle as much to block the dunks. So overall, really good change for him. I'm not sure how this will affect him inside the meta, but we'll see. So Rika, Butterball, Hoy, and Amanda, their base hit rate was increased by 15% for the jump stop shot. Now you may be wondering why David is not included inside of this. That's because David is already too good. <laughs> he doesn't really need a buff, giving him 15% extra accuracy on his jump stop shot. He's already too good. So we're moving on to Greta and Camille. The increase in center shot percentage increased from 2% to 5%, and open shot percentage increased from 2% to seven percent that is a huge buff and i'm pretty sure that this is a buff to enhance mid shot uh zach brought that to my attention last night i thought they meant when they're shooting from the center of the court but when the next update comes around and they actually update the words on those abilities we'll know for sure but we're just gonna roll with the fact that this is enhanced mid shot getting buffed so going up from two percent extra accuracy while contested up to five percent makes a huge difference and then the open shot percentage being increased up to seven percent is a huge difference as well so camille he's getting 10 percent extra accuracy after doing a faint dribble inside the mid-range area if he manages to get open after that faint dribble he's going to be looking at 
17% extra accuracy. Uh, well, not 17%, but if he's wide open, he's going to be looking at 22% extra accuracy inside the mid-range area. A huge difference. The disturbance resistance was unaffected by this buff, though. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. Still only 5% disturbance resistance, but the extra accuracy will definitely come in handy. It's like I said before, this is an uncontested meta. You do This meta does not rely on you being able to make contested shots or make contested dunks. It's meant for you to make uncontested shots and uncontested dunks and you can see that just by the things that are being changed so now we're looking at jessica she now has a level four drift three and she's going to be getting 15 percent extra accuracy on wide open drift threes so that's certainly going to help and it just further proves my point that we're moving towards an uncontested meta where you do your dunks you do your shots you do your layups and you're not contested <clears throat> So next we're looking at Emma, her air dominator is getting to level four and what it does is it increases the box out range by 10%. So this does not affect the rebound height. This does not affect the rebound distance or the rebound priority. This only affects the box out range. So you're gonna be getting 10% extra uh, box out distance for your Emma, which will give her the strongest box out in the game. I might be wrong though. I'm not completely sure. I don't play big inside of there. I'm not sure if she had more than 10% less box out range than some of the characters on this game, but I'm 100% sure that this change will make a huge difference so now we're looking at the other adjustments membership system cancel the rubies reward after purchasing membership and adjust the opening time of chess from 10 percent to 50 percent so you know when you bought the memberships you would get rubies depending on um you'll get it you'll get an amount of rubies <laughs> based on which one you decide to buy like if you buy the five dollar plan in comparison to the ten dollar plan you'd get a different amount of rubies and the, the higher the cost of the plan the more rubies you would get upon buying the membership but now they're removing the rubies from that which is completely fair um i didn't really understand why they were giving out those uh, huge amounts of rubies for buying the membership in the first place i liked it but they were kind of ripping themselves off with that so i understand raccoon digi and we'll be able to open more chests more frequently with those really high chance well not really high chances <laughs> it's a relatively low chance to get in um a high amount of resources out of that like sometimes you'll open one and you'll get 64 energy gel out of a single chest and i love when that happens so season card cancel the pre-purchase of season card and revamp and revamp the season card the new version of rewards increase to 40 grades and make appropriate price adjustments so basically what they're saying is they removed the pre-order for the season pass and they made it 40 tiers and they made it uh cost more because there's more tiers uh, involved so yeah that's gonna be a good change as well i mean uh, being able to pre-order it for just a few less dollars i enjoyed it i liked it but they didn't say anything about removing the rubies from the season pass so i'm pretty sure we can still get rubies from that we might not be getting it from the memberships anymore just by buying it but we will get those passive ones along the way and now we're looking at the mail so added free reward categories watch ads to receive the corresponding rewards and have the opportunity to get super value rewards oh that says mall not mail my bad man so yeah the um inside the mall you know the ad system that we had before you watch 10 ads um you have to watch a certain amount to get to the resource that you actually want but they revamped the system we're gonna go look at that again well not again but for the first time for anyone that hasn't seen it we're gonna go check that out because you can now watch specific ads for specific resources and it is beautiful man so fixed issues it's issue with lucy scoring with a euro step now counting towards the passer's assist uh never encountered that issue because i never had a lucy on my team because she's trash so problem with lucy being able to dunk behind the basket uh, i didn't know that she could do that the problem with katayusha can't pass the sticky ball from her hand so i guess she had a bug that was making her get stuck with the ball uh, the problem with silver wolf passing the ball to nico on layup and she passing the ball again with abnormal movement the problem with shares dribbling facing the wrong direction resulting in sidestep shooting jumping in an abnormally long distance yes bro i got so tired of this bug it, it was uh, reminding me of the david bug when he first got released he jumped into a flash dribble then instead of us instead of it showing us the animation of him going in the correct direction it would show him going backwards and you couldn't really tell where he was uh, Cher had that same bug, but she has a sidestep, so she was able to create even more space. She didn't have to rely on a jump stop shot with that bug. So the problem of the opponent not being able to cover the cap when the teammate blocks the ball and leans toward the teammate in a hasty jump shot. Uh, I don't know what they mean by that. Uh, the problem of the opponent not being able to cover the cap when the teammate blocks the ball and leans toward the teammate in a hasty jump shot. I'm assuming this goes for uh, Rika's fingertip block because on the next thing it says the problem with the ball being capped by Rika's fingertip block skill and not being able to pick it up. So I guess this means the problem of the opponent not being able 
to um get the rebound out of the air or pick it up off the ground i don't know raccoon did you gotta start wording this stuff better man so the problem that the screen will have a splash screen when clicking on replay again uh, i don't know what they mean by that and the problem with the chat mail button red dot prompt problem i don't know how i managed to say that that is a huge tongue twister but i don't know what that is but they fixed it <laughs> and then they fixed other known problems so yeah man this is the update it's looking pretty interesting so far and the thing that they took off of here that they revealed too early because i saw it in sci-fi's video and it is not on here anymore is that ace tier is most likely coming inside this next update if you don't know what ace tier is it is the tier that comes after the sss tier which we will also be getting inside this next update hopefully they revealed it too early it's too late raccoon digi i've seen it already and i already told everyone so let's go ahead and look at this new thing bro for the ads just check that out real quick All right, so all you got to do, click on mall, click on free rewards, and bada boom, bada bing. As you can see, you don't have to watch like seven ads in order to get to the gold upgrade card vouchers. You don't have to watch like a million ads just to get down to the resources that you want. If you want gems, you can go ahead and watch your three ads for gems. You want energy gel, you can go ahead and watch those three ads for energy gel. And um, I haven't watched any ads out of here yet, but I'm assuming that if you watch an ad, you're going to get your hands on an ad coin. And once you get 100 ad coins, you're going to be able to roll the dice on this little bottom section down here. You can see a D upgrade card, 3,000 gems, uh, two dies, a gold, I mean, not a gold key, but a purple key for you to unlock those special chests for special events and stuff like that. So once you get 100, uh, once you watch 100 ads, you're going to get 100 ad coins. Then you can roll on this down here and hopefully you guys actually win something that you want. So, all right, man, we're going to wrap this video up. Y'all want to see more of this? Go ahead and drop a like, sub to the channel. And I'll catch y'all next one, man.